Hey guys, in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download the digital home planner onto an Android and use it in Note Noteshelf. So whenever you buy the digital home planner and you create your account, whenever you log in, you're going to be taken to the digital home planner hub. And if you scroll down here, you can see all the different planner options that you have to download. We have two landscape options and two portrait options. But in today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and use the landscape version. So whenever you're ready to download, just click on the um, planner that you want to download and it's going to automatically open up in a different tab. Then we want to go up here to these three dots and hit download. And that is going to download directly to your files app. So click right down here and open up your files app and then go to your downloads folder and you can see it right here. So I'm going to click on it to open it and I'm going to open it in note shelf. Now it's going to import and create a brand new planner for us in note shelf. So whenever you want to use this, um, I'm going to go ahead and turn off my tool bar here so that I can show you the tabs of the planner. Whenever you want to open it, just swipe it to open and you can see our welcome page here. And then here you can see our index and then you can swipe through all the different pages of the planner. But swiping isn't really the best option whenever you're using a planner this big. So let me show you how to use all the hyperlinks within the planner. Over here, you have 1 through 12 of blank sections that you can customize and make whatever you want. Up here, you have the sections that we've already included. And then over here, you have the months of the year. So let's say that you want to go to your budget section. You can click right up here on budget, on the budget tab, and this will take you to the budget section. Another way to get to the individual sections of your planner is to go to the index. You can go to the index by clicking on the spine and then down here it has each individual section. So you can click on budget and it will take you to the budget. Now on each individual section of the planner um, there are these index pages and each little circle here is a hyperlink that takes you directly to these pages. So let's say that you want to go to your April budget planner you just click right here and it will take you to your April budget. This works on each individual tab of the planner. So if you wanna to go to projects and then you wanna to go to your yearly projects, just click right there and it will take you to your yearly projects. Over here, you'll have our um, months. Now each section or each tab here only has one month and they are undated. You can use this planner year after year. You can date it yourself by um, just using your toolbar to date the planner. So you can just write your dates here. Or you can use our extension pages to overlay this um, calendar with a new calendar that's dated. And I'll show you how to do that in a different video. But each section or each tab here takes you to a different month of the planner. Over here, these index pages, they are just blank planning pages that you can create whatever you want yourself. So let's say that you want your um, section number one to be your notes. You can take your pen bar, you can write right here. Oops. But this is going to be your notes section. And that doesn't look real great, but. <laughs> It's something that you can easily do so you can write here right here notes or you could use a text box and you could type notes there's lots of different ways that you can customize this and uh, make make each section whatever you want you can also um, drop pages in here from our expansion packs so if you want it if you're a teacher and you wanted one of these sections to be your teacher planning pages you could use our teacher expansion pack to put the teacher planning pages in here you could also use our business expansion pack um, we have and are including um, very often all kinds of different expansion packs that you can add in here but let's say that you did want section one to be your notes and you wanted some note planning pages we do include note planning pages we have quite a few different options for you. So there's different um, line sizes that you can choose from for your planning pages. And then some that have borders and some that don't. We also have bullet journal pages. So let's say that you wanted to use this note planning page on, on your section one. You can move pages around in your planner and duplicate pages. 
I don't I, I don't suggest moving pages um, but let me show you how to duplicate a page and then move it so let's say that I wanted to use this page in my section one of um, my section one tab over here that I'm making my notes so what I would do I would click up here on pages and then I would see I'm, I have this page already selected so I'm gonna hit edit and then I'm gonna hit duplicate and I'm gonna duplicate this one page and see it added it right here. So I'm gonna click on that page and now I want to move it. And I wanna move it all the way to the very end of the planner because the um, blank sections are at the very end. So I'm gonna hold down on it and I'm gonna drag it down. And then I'm just going to scroll until I get to the end of the planner. I recommend letting the pages load a little bit to when you get to the end because if not it will um, automatically go right back up to the top and you have to start all over which is really frustrating okay see right there is my notes section and then I added the pages right after so then just click done now that's one way to move a page Something you don't ever want to do is to try and move around pages. So let's talk about projects. We have our project outline, then instructions, and then yearly projects. Let's say that you wanted yearly projects before the project outline. Don't move the page. So if you click on your pages here, let's try this again. So I'm right here on this project page and right down here is a yearly project page. I want to, if I want this page to be up here, I would don't recommend moving it because if you move this page, you hold it and drag it up there and move it, it is going to break this hyperlink right here. So what you instead can do is click on it, your yearly projects are right here, and you could duplicate the page and then move another copy of the page up there. But don't just move pages around because then all of the hyperlinks in the planner will break. One, another place in the planner that you may need to duplicate pages or um, copy pages is in the recipes section. We give you a lot of different um, sections within the recipes section for all your different kind of recipes and um, so you can organize them. So you have like appetizers, entrees, your sides, your desserts. Um, but after each page, in these sections we give you two recipe cards actually three recipe cards and then it starts over on um, a different section of recipes so if you need some more recipe cards all you're going to do is you're going to go up here to pages and sometimes you have to click on it twice for it to load where you're actually at and then you're going to click on the page that you want to duplicate whoops and then hit edit select that page again and hit duplicate and you can insert it above it that page below that page or you can just duplicate it so we're just going to duplicate it I'm going to duplicate this a couple of times so I have plenty of recipe recipe planning pages under appetizers so now that I'm done with that I'm going to go back here to appetizers and then if you scroll you see that you have multiple recipe planning pages now, if you need some more room um, with these recipe cards, we give you a few options for the recipe cards. So you have one that has the ingredients over here and the directions over here, and it's one recipe for two pages. Or this, this one is two recipes on two different pages. So if you wanted to use this one, you just go up here to pages, you choose this one, whoops, make sure it's chosen, hit edit, then you have to select it again, duplicate it, so I'm going to duplicate it right after, so here's the duplicated one, and now I'm going to hold down on it and move it to where I want it, so I'm going to put it right here after appetizers, and if I go back to my appetizers, now that two page spread for the recipe card is right there after my appetizers in the first page. 
So that's how you move pages around. Um, you can also do this with our um, planning templates. So let's say after January, you want a weekly planning page between um, the next month. What you can do is you go to the index, just click on the spine to do that. And then you go over here to our planning templates and I'm gonna choose weekly. Now I'm gonna go up here to pages and select it right here on weekly. I'm going to edit, select that page again and duplicate it. Duplicate that one page. Now I'm going to select the one that I duplicated, not the one that, um, the original. Always select the one that you duplicated so that you don't break the hyperlinks. And then I'm just going to drag it down here after January. Hit done. And then if I go to January and I scroll, you can see right here is that weekly planning page after January. So that is how you duplicate pages and move pages around. And you can do this anywhere in your planner. So if you wanted more notes pages, more list pages, if you needed some more um, project pages or monthly pages, you can absolutely duplicate them and um, create as many pages as you want. Just make sure that you move your duplicated version, not the original version. So that is how you use the digital home planner on um, an Android device with Noteshelf. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to email me and let me know.